How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and this is the CRX. Now there's been a lot of discussion about this machine from Creality in the recent few weeks and I just wanted to sort of give you an update on my experiences with this machine. I unboxed it live over on Makers Muse Live and I encountered a quite a few issues with it. Uh, since then Joel over at uh, 3D Printing Nerd has made a sort of first impressions video on this machine and there's been a lot of stuff going on about, you know, pre-production units, beta testing from us YouTubers, what to be expected. And look, it is what it is. This is a unit that's, that has been shipped to me before production units have been put into place. So it's different to the one that was even shown in the videos by Creality. And Creality has made an update and a, a statement over this, but essentially they're looking to improve it and do better. But at the end of the day, this is the machine that I have. I don't want another CRX. This is the machine that was sent to me. So I just want to go through some of the things, the issues I'm experiencing with it and what I'm intending to do to kind of fix it. But again, what I end up with isn't really going to be any indication of what you'll buy if you get a CRX. And I just want to make that very clear because I'm going to have to do some modifications to this printer to make it actually print properly. So let me just show you the first issue, which is the bed leveling. Okay, so I have the whole machine homed right now, and it's got this lovely touch screen, which I do really like. You know, everything's nice and homed. Um, but it's a huge print print platform. Uh, let me be clear, this is a massive print platform, same with the CR10, big glass plate. I quite like that. But um, my issue is with the leveling. So if I go to leveling here on the screen, level, and it's got the five point leveling. It's got a bit of paper here. Let me run through the issues I'm experiencing. So, here's the first point. I've got that, um, you know, fairly tight. Let me just tighten up a little bit more. So that's nice and tight. Let's move it to uh, this one back. Um, that's extremely tight. Uh, let's move it to this one at the rear, rear corner. Again, that's actually too tight. Um, let's um, undo that a little bit. So that's the one. So righty tidy, lefty loosey, right? So this is a just a piece of paper folded over twice. This is very close in terms of uh, bed height. Um, and then this is the problem corner number two. So this front right corner. Um, when I unbox this machine. This had actually fallen off in the packaging, and this is why. Um, that's completely loose, right? This is actually about to fall off, and if you look down here, zooming on the camera, that spring is fully extended. I cannot actually tighten that up anymore. Um, it's loose. And uh, in, the, in the stream, a lot of you guys made a good point about the gantry level. So I actually moved the Z limit switch slightly closer, you can see here, if I zoom in, I've got this as close as I can. I cannot make this bracket any closer, otherwise it'll collide. But if this gantry wasn't level, then this rear corner would also be too far away. So that one corner is too far away, but let's be real, I mean, I'm not gonna print right to the edge. Let's see what the center actually gives us. Let's go to five right in the center. and move this to the center, you know, that's got some friction on it. That nozzle is actually quite close to that paper. Um, so what happens if we do a print? So here on the touch screen, I'm just gonna go to SD card and uh, as Joel mentioned in his video, these SDL, uh, these sorry, G code files were not showing up in the actual menu. They were hidden in the SD card on other other folders. So I've moved these in and I've got this uh, benchy that they've sliced. So I'm going to go to boat and print and warm it up. And what you'll see is the issue I'm experiencing where even though we just checked that middle middle height, you know, it's still where I just checked it, is good. What happens is it homes and then you'll see just how far away that first layer actually is. Right, so the print's about to start, the machine is homing. 
and we'll do the first sort of purge with the the uh, nozzle one. So it purges out some filament down there. It's going to come across, and you'll notice that that first layer is way too far away. I had that piece of paper underneath, and it was you know just folded over itself twice or once rather. Two, two bits of paper thickness and the nozzle was not that far away. So as you can see there guys, it's just rubbish. That's a terrible first layer, even though I did the bed leveling as accurately as I could, but keep in mind that one front right corner is unlevelable in its current state. The screws are too short and the wheel undoes itself and falls off before I can even get it close to the nozzle. Okay, so to recap, this is the CRX from Creality, but it is a pre-production unit which has been made very clear and through their statement from Creality they are intending to improve things. However, the machine I have does have the issues that I do need to re rectify and fix before I can really get any, any decent prints off it. I did get one demo print off, which was the one I started in my stream by manually jigging the center up after it started printing to try to get it to stick. Um, but that print, I'll show you in the photo here, actually had some severe uh, Z-banding, um, which might, in, might imply one of the lead screws is actually slightly bent or something's wrong there. Um, my theory is that the, the aluminium bed support might be slightly warped in that bad corner, so I'm going to kill this print because it's clearly not going to succeed, and I'm going to take the whole bed apart and see what that plate is like, but let me stress that I am not happy about having to do this, it's just how it is. And I want to be very straight, upfront, and transparent with you guys because, you know, as I always say, it's my aim to empower your creativity through technology. This isn't really empowering my creativity right now, and I just want to make it clear that I'm. This, this is my experiences. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later. Bye. He has placed satellites into orbit. He is actually...